Casper and Ernest here from Submission Row. standing here with uh, Brennan Badger O'Reilly. You got a big win. You said sorry to your mum for fighting on Mother's Day. Don't you think this is a big uh, present for her? I, I do. I think it's a big present for her um, that I got the win. And, um, you know, I, I always uh, scare her a little bit when I fight. So uh, I just want to say sorry I had to do it on Mother's Day. I, you know, I, w I wish I could have been there celebrating with her, but I guess we can celebrate when I get home. Yeah, it's not an excuse you can tell Dana White, sorry, I can't fight. It's Mother's Day. It doesn't <laughs> exactly go along with a tough mentality. Now, a lot of pressure going into this fight, Brendan. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it. A lot of people saying this is a loser leaves town match. Yep. Did you feel it going into it? Um, I know uh, by rights it was like a loser leave town match, but what I saw, I saw it more as like I just wanted to show my home crowd here in Australia, you know, that I'll stand and, and trade with anyone and, and put on a good fight. I know that's what Australian fans love, and um, that's what I wanted to do. So I wasn't thinking about the uh, the specifics of who's winning, who's losing, what's at stake. I just wanted to you know make the crowd cheer, and, and they did. I couldn't even hear my corner there for a while. Standing and trading is exactly what you guys did. You took a lot of shots. You gave out a lot of shots. Yep. During those exchanges, what was going through your mind? And was there any point where you were seriously hurt and almost uh, close to being out? No, not really. Um, I'm lucky. I think I was born with like a, a cane toed neck that um, <laughs> I can take some pretty heavy shots. So I never was, uh, never felt too, in, too, too much in trouble. But, you know, to Vic's credit, he's also a very tough guy and he hits, you know, damn hard too. So, um uh, you know, it was a great fight. Um, the, the crowd loved it. Um, there was never a, a, a spot in the fight where I was, in, you know, worried or panicking. But, you know, it was a tough fight and it was one I was taking seriously from the word go. Did you find uh, massive differences from Vic in the house compared to how this match was from what you've been training with him? Um, well, in the house, uh, he, he was a middleweight and I was there as, as a welterweight. So we didn't train extensive too much together. But um, he, we've obviously both, I think, improved technically um you know he's a big he came in there a fair bit bigger than me and um you know i could tell that early on he was quite quite heavy but um you know my, my strength and conditioning's always been good and my and my natural strength's been good and i managed to to use that against him and ha handle the move up from 155 all right yeah it was a crucial win given ufc melbourne's coming up around the corner every australian fighter wants to be on it absolutely but yeah if you lose you may not be on it do you win you give yourself a really good chance was yep. that how you saw it coming in tonight um i uh, again i hadn't thought too much about it in detail um my goal was to get through this fight and you know put on a good show for the fans and then think about the next step which now i'm thinking about melbourne absolutely and you know fighting in front of the australian crowd's amazing and um i'd love nothing more than to fight in front of the australian crowd in melbourne which is going to be a, a huge event so, uh, man, that would make me so, so happy. But, um, you know, I'm going, going to have some uh, meat pies now and uh, enjoy the win for a day, and then I'll get back in the gym and get ready for what's ahead, and fingers crossed it's Melbourne. Now that, obviously, you've got the big win, and you mentioned Mother's Day, how are you going to treat Mum now that you've got the big win? What are you guys going to do? Give us the lowdown. You're going to have to make it up to her somehow. Yeah, I, uh, I haven't thought too much about that one. I, uh, I'll have to go home and spend some time with her, um, you know, probably go out to lunch with Mum and, and my family and uh, just spend some quality time with my mum. And there's quite a few people that I, you know, haven't been able to uh, give heaps of time to, like uh, my, my parents, my family, and my uh, girlfriend, Renee, who's been really supportive. So... I make sure I uh, give them a lot of time and um, and uh, yeah, my coaches have been getting all my quality time lately. But uh, thanks to them, because uh, got a good win here. Just also touching back on your fight, obviously you guys trained very hard for the fight, and it was a grueling fight. You guys both slowed down probably in the middle of the second round. What do you attribute that to? Um, I think you know we uh, we went in there pretty hard, and at, at the start of the first round or the whole first round, essentially it was a uh, it was very physical. Like we were in that clinch, and um, I guess it's hard for um, for the crowd to see but when you're in that clinch well, I mean the clinch is the most physically grueling part of the of the fight range so um, in that clinch we were both using a lot of energy turning on and off the cage it was a bit back and forth for a while got some takedowns so um, I guess that was that was um, probably what may have slowed the pace a little bit I was also trying to reassess and get my bearings a bit I, uh, I probably was a bit too wild to start with and I um, I was trying to rein myself in a bit in the second there I guess and, and be a bit more tactical and then I think um, Things just went back to a good old Aussie slugfest in the end there, but <laughs> yeah. One last question for me: What's next in terms of fighting? Have you got any particular opponent out there you may want to call out? Um, not necessarily. No, you know, um, I just wanted to uh, get you know get my win on my move up to welterweight, um, and I'm going to keep working on my strength and conditioning to really solidify myself as a, as a true welterweight up here. Um, and keep working with my coaches, you know, um, Jesse Prio with my Muay Thai, Dorian Price is here helping me with my um, Muay Thai and MMA and then Bruno Lemos with my Jiu Jitsu, so yeah.
Once again, Brandon, congratulations on your big win, and uh, we look forward to seeing you soon. Awesome. Thanks, guys.